Hey, hey up, up chatter gang. gang. It's dinner time in Blackpool again. And tonight we're dining at Labatega because he's Colin, he's Tim, and, and together, together we, we are, are the Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get noshing. So we're starting uh, this video. Um, we're walking to where we're eating tonight and we've just gone past Funny Girls and Man Bar and we're walking down Springfield Road. Yeah. Tim will tell you where we're eating because <laughs> I can't pronounce it. We are eating at La Bottega. Um, most places, a lot of places are closed because it's pretty much out of season now, apart from Christmas by the sea. And it's a Monday, so uh, many businesses open later in the week and over the weekend. Uh, yes, so it's it is very the, quiet. It is the last Monday in November, uh, 27th, as we've been filming this. It's quite mild though tonight. I think yeah. it's got warmer yes. than what it was this today. Uh, it's, it's a breeze, I think. If there's a breeze, that can be really biting cold. Uh, but it's not breezy at all tonight. It's, it's very mild, certainly for the time of the year. But the best thing about it is it's dry. Yep, we had a little a drizzle bit. last night. Yeah, but by um, the time we'd uh, walk up and got up and got ready, it had stopped raining. So yeah. up to now, during this weekend, we've not seen an inch of rain while we've been out, which is always good. You can be cold, but if you're dry, you can keep warm. Yeah. Uh, we're on Springfield Road at the moment, walking towards the seafront. And where we're stopping is just around the uh, Where we're stopping to eat is just around the corner. Yeah, you see the volunteer Lab centre here. And how is it pronounced again? La Bottega. La Bottega. Yep. Uh, if you're not sitting off from Funny Girls, it's just along the road from the galleon. Oh, yep, and now we have eaten here before, I put him under previous owners. Yes, and, and we, we can't always forget the name, what it was called before. We do, but we're going to ask if the, if the staff know what it was called before. If anyone knows in the comments, please let us know. Yeah, if we don't find out ourselves. Come on, chatter gang, let's get in. Uh, Tim, tell us your first impressions of the... the, the I'm very... <laughs> first impressions of what, Colin? Labad... 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 I can't say it. <laughs> um, very pleasantly surprised with it. Um, when we came before, it was a lot more rustic. It was nice, but more cosy. But now it's much more upmarket, a lot brighter. Um, yeah. It, I really like it, I think it looks really nice. What's your first impressions of Labatega, Colin? Really good. We did ask the waiter what it was called before, yeah. and it was called tiramisu, <laughs> and we remembered it as soon as I said it, and it's more spacious, they said they extended it, a lot more lighter, and uh, the decor is really nice and it looks like they've got a massive wine selection at the back of us. That looks beautiful. I can't wait to get myself in eating that. It does look nice, I might have to have a taste of that, Colin. Colin, how was your starter? It was nice. I had mozzarella cheese. It was um, sat on uh, some nice tomato sauce. I think it could have been done with being a touch more crispier. However, the cheese was really nice. Uh, so, yeah, really enjoyed that starter. I wasn't really expecting it to be ring rings like this. I was expecting it to be those little squid, but I've got some uh, tartar sauce on there. Uh, Battle looks a little bit pale, but uh, you know, I won't judge it on that just yet. But it looks beautifully presented though. Talk us through your starter, Tim. Well, sometimes when you get calamari, when it's in rings like that, it can be like eating a rubber band. That wasn't, it was really, really nice. Batter was very, very light. I would have preferred it a bit thicker, and I think it was a little bit underdone, to be honest. I'd like it to have been cooked maybe a minute longer, but um, it was fine. 
The day I have a pizza. It's looking very hot. And now it's time for the all important pizza fold test. Oh, yes, it's definitely passed. How was your main course, Colin? It was all right. Uh, oh. I've had, I've had, no, I have had better pizzas. Uh, however, I did think it didn't come with enough uh, topping. But actually, I think they got the balance right. Uh, it wasn't too fiery, which is good. Uh, it was a hot pizza, but it wasn't too overpowering. Um, it was good, I enjoyed it. Uh, I can't remember what the Italian name for this, but basically it's seafood spaghetti. It smells very fishy. I'm looking forward to tucking it. Uh, Tim, how was your main? Well, the spaghetti was cooked perfectly. It wasn't overdone, wasn't too raw. Um, that's the best I can say about it, I'm afraid. It's pretty tasteless and there were a lot of shells in it. Uh, normally when you get seafood, they just put a few couple of shells on top for fancy, but it was really tricky to eat, but uh, not very flavoursome. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. So that's La Bottega on Abingdon Street in Blackpool. Colin, what are your final thoughts? Um, do you know something? There were a few things that let it down in that place. Um, it was a little bit cold, uh, and I think that had a bearance on my food, uh, both the starter and the main course. When I got to the end, they were feeling uh, too cold. Um, I've got a t-shirt t on and a warm shirt, uh, but I could still feel cold. Now, they did try and... Sorry. They did try and fix it by putting a heater on as uh, halfway through the meal, but I think it was a bit too late for that. Yeah, too little, too late, wasn't it? It was yeah. a little bit chilly. The other thing that as well is uh, the table next to us, when they'd finished their course and left, they come over and started spraying it with this disinfectant, which, <sighs> oh my God, it's going right on my chest. I can... Made it's my good. eyes water now, it's like the other side of the table. Yeah, so, um, and also the pizza, it were all right. Tim? Do you know, Colin, I was so looking forward to eating here. Uh, I've got such fond memories of when it was tiramisu. And when we went in and we saw how much it had improved, I was really excited. Uh, looking forward to such a nice meal, but, uh, you know, the atmosphere wasn't there. Uh, tiramisu wasn't as nice, but it was much more homely. Uh, they were very friendly. They made you feel like it's part of the family. They used to cock up the order every time we went <laughs> they in. They did. But they were so nice about it, and they, and they just made you feel so welcome, and it was so lovely. There was none of that. It was quite clinical, wasn't it? And the food yeah. wasn't great. No. It wasn't great. The only pleasant surprise was the bill. It was uh, quite a bit less than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, based on the experience of the bill, the food and the ambience. How many stars will you give? Well, it's a two from me, Colin. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to give it a three, just. You're very kind. Yeah. However, will it get the Chattergang stamp of approval? It will. All, all right. If you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. It does really help the channel. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not. Out. And if you can recommend any great Italian restaurants in Blackpool, please put it in the comments below because we'd love to find one. Yeah. Thanks for watching Chatter Gang. We'll catch you on the next one. Night night. Night night.